All right, Robert Lowry continues our live team coverage now with a look at the damage all across Dayton. Hi, Robert. Well, rain continuing to fall tonight, but cleanup efforts already well underway from that damage set or that storm that came through the area. Now, just behind me, this is Linden Avenue. You can see where they have Dayton Police DPNL crews out here cleaning up some down power lines over here. Part of Linden Avenue currently closed off. Traffic being rerouted through uh, where we're standing here on East Town Shopping Center. But really, damage is starting to be hidden by some of the darkness coming through here. But come tomorrow morning, there will definitely be plenty of cleanup. It didn't take long for neighbors to come help Ron Brewer get this tree off his home. A storm he describes is packing quite a punch. All of a sudden, it started raining, and the wind was blowing the hardest I've ever seen it blow. You could not see the street. The wind was blowing so hard. Brewer was inside watching Storm Team 2 at the time, didn't hear the tree fall on his roof. Once the storm passed, he, along with many others on the eastern part of Dayton, saw the damage that was done. It's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I see it, you know, I'll know these other people that have them big, gigantic storms come through. Nothing like this for us, though. This is one of the most intense 10 minutes I've ever seen. Another tree down, this time avoiding the home. Sean Brothers was looking out his front window watching the storm when suddenly this tree came crashing down in front of him. A car was in the driveway there. It was maybe four inches away from the car, maybe, let me say, five, six feet away from the house. Really? It's close. Real close. Cleanup already beginning for many people in the area. Some just thankful the damage wasn't worse. Others happy to get a helping hand from those who weathered the storm. On both sides, everybody was out. The people from across the street, they was all out. So, you know, yeah. it's a great neighborhood. Everybody watches out for everybody and takes care of everybody. That down power line is going to be the problem throughout the night as they're cleaning up this one at Linden Avenue. Some some of the places we saw in the area around here, trees came crashing down as some of the power lines. One homeowner I spoke to says this one came right onto his property, crashed right there, uh, bringing down some of the lines around there. He can't do anything about it for now, though, because they're worried that it might still be turned on. They're worried he can't move the tree because he might get electrocuted. So still having to wait until tomorrow morning to clean up some of the damage like many of the people around here. But if you do see any power lines in the area, you're asked to call DPNL immediately. Let them come out and take care of those. For now, reporting live, Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.